Um, the idea for the room uh, has been emerging for a long time. Uh, n many years ago, I remember asking uh, my husband, um, or you know, talking to, to Matt about how much I'd like to uh, create something in the round that responded to the environment that it was built in. And then those first thoughts emerge, and then they grow, and they develop, and I did a number of paintings and, and shows in between, and, and, and the thought never left uh, me. My ability to cope and function within the world has always been wrapped up with myth building, and each thing has a story. Each object has a story for me, literally, because it was a coping mechanism to get through my uh, a rather turbulent childhood and a lot of, uh, you know, it was a, I think a lot of us turned to narrative as a form of, um, you know, how to understand the world uh, that can sometimes be really hard. And so these things started to become very evident that they have a, they have a story to me, like a water bottle has a story and a, and a chair has a personality and a thing has a thing that I'm, leaping into. Everything has a connected story. And so I started to build a room in my studio. And when I came into the space, there were a lot of delightful things that I couldn't predict in my studio. I can only build so far, you know, in my studio. You know, the, 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 the language isn't all perfect. You know, some parts are painted, some are let go, some ends of drawings disappear. It's sort of a very accurate reflection of how I feel. Uh, it's a conversation, it's an extended thought, it's an ongoing uh, idea. Uh, it has a certain space. I was responding to the space in my studio and then I brought it here and I realized, oh well, it doesn't quite match in this spot and this spot has an open thing. And then I started to get ideas about like, oh well, this could be a curtain and it could come out into the room. And really fortunate that you know, the, you know, the gallery was willing to let me do that. Um, and then I started to get other ideas and images and, and, and the idea of bringing back the, the, um, the subway platform and, and um, how we tra were traveling through this uh, life. And, and the subway platform relates to other things in the, the body of the show. It relates to traumatic experience and other things that ha have happened to me. Uh, those all, that all becomes part of our combined story, you know, uh, as humans. Um, and so it was delightful to, to respond to the space. It, it actually provided exactly what I was hoping when I first started this journey of a narrative envelope, a painting and round, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I really hope people can feel that when they come into this space.